Well, hello there. Welcome back to another episode of Slaughterhouse Customs No Nonsense Tutorials. Today, we have a quick shift kit or short shift kit, whatever you want to call it. It's going to go on that thing, that long wibbly wobbly thing. Yeah, let's get stuck in. So you bought yourself a T25 and you thought, hey, this is a vehicle. It's got four wheels, you know, steering wheels, just drive it on the road, you know, it should feel like a car or a van or something. But instead, it feels like you're rowing a boat because you've got to go like all like that. And you don't really want that in a car because it's a car, not a boat. So this is what we're going to fix. In your kit from us, from moi, you will have little bits and pieces for your short shift. And it's actually a fairly simple process, he says. We'll probably mess it up in a moment. But you have a, a little spacer, a little collar collar thingy thing, and a couple of uh, nuts. And you will have your instructions, but of course you don't need them because I am here today to show you how it's done. First things first, dismantle your gear stick assembly. Start with the, uh, the knobbage. Be a bit gentle with it. And then, you know, eventually, after you try hard enough, it will come off or it will go off, I don't know. And then you've got your gator, which is a bit lower down. You've got to be as gentle with this as well. I don't know why. It's a bit wrinkly and old, like most of the people we work here, really. Unfortunately, Jazz has got carpet in his, so we're going to have to lift it up. I think it's stuck down, so we might have to cut that to this point in a minute. Anyway, after a quick biscuit break and some confirmation with Jazz, we shall not cut the carpet, but we shall peel it back because in his infinite wisdom, and Jazz has a lot of wisdom, he decided he just wouldn't, wouldn't make a cutout to put his gator on. So there you go. Normally, the T25, you'll have direct access to the nuts, bolts, whatever, once you've taken the gator off. As you can see, there's one there, and there'll be one on the opposite side. So the rest of the tools you're gonna be needing shall include ratchet of some kind and a 10 mil socket. It doesn't have to be deep socket. Just any 10 mil socket will do if you haven't lost them already. A four mil drill bit, a center punch, a sharpie, always helps, always comes in handy with most jobs, and a set of Allen keys because everyone loves Allen. Right, take your 10 millimeter ratchet, socket, shaft thing, get it somehow onto the 10 millimeter nut. And just start loosening it off. Second nut up there. Yeah, there you go. Refer to the instructions. So you will have a little collar Right, with a hole in it. It's got like an internal chamfer there, an external one there. The external one faces up, and you slide that down your shaft. If you can see, there's already a grub screw, which just holds the original OEM collar in place. So this collar is just to relocate that. Doesn't, doesn't matter exactly where you place it, just put it in line with the grub screw. Take your Sharpie or other marking device, give her a little spin. As you can see, there's some other marks on there. We shall not, we shall not say what that was. So once you've got your hole marked with your template, take your four mil drill bit, and you're going to drill on that mark three mil deep. Screwdriver, flathead, in your grub screw, loosen it off until it ping pongs. Spring, collar, grub screw. We should be able to remove the base. So we need to get that through Jazz's silly carpet somehow. I don't think that's going to happen. I need to ask Jazz. Jazz has given us the green light to cut his carpet. I'm just going to put a couple of slots in it. Don't want to do too much damage. See if we can push that through now. There you go. Whoppa! It's probably a good idea to give this a clean. So we'll probably give this a clean up a little bit and re-grease it just to make the uh, gear shifting process a little bit smoother because it's a bit stiff, a bit notchy. Take your spacer, slide it over the gear stick and put it over the two studs. One, two, just put them over there. And then you can take your little extending nuts and put them over put them probably do it do it like that do them now screw them on if you've got a deep socket 10 mil that'll help otherwise just a 10 mil socket doesn't need to be super tight just hand tight will be fine that extends the two mounting points you can slide it over it's quite a snug fit so there's not much movement and essentially we're just going to put this back on it will be the reverse of the removal so we've cleaned up the parts re-greased it just with some multi-purpose grease shouldn't have done that um 
So we're going to put it back over the shaft now. I want to try and not get any grease on this carpet. Though I'm just cautious about Jazz's carpet because he might set my ears on fire. Could my glamorous assistant get a cloth or something? Cool, thank you. Do that. There we go. I don't think it matters which way around it is, but I believe that was the way around it was before. You have now successfully spaced the pivot point of your gear lever higher. So essentially, a short shift or a quick shift system just moves the original factory pivot point of the gear stick connected to the rest of the gear linkage higher. So if you can imagine a seesaw, in the middle, it's equal both sides. You move up and down, equal both sides. If you shift it closer to one end, one end's gonna move up and down very shortly, very quickly, and one end's gonna travel a lot further. It's essentially what you're doing with the gear stick. You move it closer to where your hand is, your hand has to move less in order to, tr to translate to a greater movement underneath. We want the spring and the collar. So slide your spring back on, being careful not to grease up your nice carpet. So you've got your collar, Put it back over your shaft. I don't know if you can see, that's where we drilled our little locating hole. So essentially we need to just put that back down over that whilst holding pressure. So, yeah, yeah, you can feel that locating in there when it moves the collar. Make sure that's fairly tight. And so now you've got the proper amount of pressure back on the base. So essentially all we have left to do, get your nuts and washers, put them back onto the base and reassemble. Gator, gear knob, check that it's all hunky-dory. It's one thing to cycle through the gears while the engine's off, but you wanna make sure, you know, when you jump into it, it's gonna be, all the gears are grabbing and everything's pulling. So, start the engine up, put it in first, second, third, reverse, wherever, and just lift the clutch up to the bite point and just see if the vehicle moves. First. Yep, yeah, that's definitely grabbing. Second. Yep. Yeah. Third, yep, four, yep, fifth, yep, reverse. There you go. Oh, always knock the lighting down, but we've got all the gears. So we once again confirmed that when the engine's running, the gears are all there. And we are done. Bosh, job done. Jazz now has shorter gears. So if you would like one of these short shift kits for yourself and fancy doing it yourself or getting it done here, check out the link in the description. Like, comment and subscribe as well, you know, if you like this video. If you like me, like the video, why not? You can always bring your van down here, we could do it for you. You could watch me do it maybe, if you're fancying it. And um, have a nice day, I don't know. <laughs> End. Huh? Is that your hat now? It is my hat now. Yeah. I've been gifted a hat because no one liked my old hat. I brought it in for a day, got it in a charity shop, I thought it was nice. Everyone else didn't think so. <laughs> um, so I've been given this.